We are back with another monthly wrap-up of some of the weird, bizarre, and even scary news to come out of Japan over the last month. So what happened over the last month or so? Let's take a look. Number 1. You may remember from a few months back when I spoke about a strange giant ball that washed up on a Japanese beach. Well, this month we got yet another one. On February 21st, NHK reported that a large ball washed up on a beach in Hamamatsu City, Shizuoka Prefecture. The ball was roughly one and a half meters long and apparently made of metal. What on earth was it? Initial testing determined it was an explosive, at the very least, and a quick delve into the comments section brought up all sorts of interesting theories. Aliens. Saiyans from Dragon Ball. Wrecking Balls. You name it, someone probably shared a photo of it. Further tests were then carried out, and officials claimed it was likely just a foreign research buoy that somehow washed up on Japanese shores, but they've been unable to determine who owns it. If they don't claim it soon, however, the ball will be destroyed. Number 2. I'm all about the crazy things you can get from gacha machines, as I'm sure you know, but this month has gone and given us something special. Now you can wear the gacha machine right on your back. Yes, you heard right. You can wear a gacha machine as a backpack. And who hasn't wanted to do that? Let's be real. Called the Showy Gacha, you can buy this rather pricey bag for just 9,900 yen, or roughly $100. You can store capsules in it for display, but while it has a knob, it's sadly just for display and doesn't actually work. You can put a capsule in the spot where they would come out, however, if you want to pretend that it does. It otherwise functions as a perfectly normal, if large and unwieldy, backpack. These fashion stoppers are on sale now. Number 3. On February 16th, a tweet started doing the rounds of a rather interesting ad someone came across on the train. I wonder if it's really okay to target this ad at 15 to 18 year olds, the tweet said. The poster features several high school girls running around happily, but it's the text that makes the whole thing rather, well, weird. High school only lasts three years. Even if it's just for one second, I want to look as cute as I can for as long as I can. The ad was for double eyelid plastic surgery, which in and of itself isn't that strange, but the fact it was being targeted specifically at high school girls rubbed some people the wrong way. Some thought it was no big deal, while others pointed out that simply having eyelid surgery wouldn't make you beautiful if you were already ugly to begin with. Ouch. Still, certainly a risky play by the company, and it has made at least some question their methods. Number 4. Osaka has an incredibly special place in my heart, and this month, they've given us some rather interesting and perhaps bumbling news. On January 11th, a 20-year-old man from Osaka City reportedly went on a little crime spree where he robbed four different convenience stores in 20 minutes. Considering that big cities tend to have convenience stores on every corner, this itself isn't that hard to believe. But what made it interesting was that during this spree, he reportedly stopped at yet another convenience store not to rob it, but rather to pay his phone bill. With the money he had stolen from a previous store. Because he might be on a crime spree, but having a working phone is still important. Of course, this was his downfall, as police were able to use security camera footage to track his spree, and then use his phone bill to determine who he was. He admitted to the crimes once arrested and said he did it because he was perhaps unsurprisingly, having money problems. Number 5. I'm not even sure how to approach this next one. It was reported last month that on December 15th last year, a teenage girl went to grab her bicycle at 7.30am from where it was parked near a train station in Soma City, Fukushima Prefecture. However, when she got there, she noticed something on the seat. It appeared to be... Well, human excrement. As any sane person would do, she immediately called the police, and they were able to determine a 28-year-old man who lived nearby was the culprit. 
he apparently carried out the deed the night before, carrying out the act right on top of her seat, rather than doing it elsewhere first and then simply placing it on top. Why on earth would he commit such a disgusting act? The man admitted he did so because he liked her. I don't even know what to say other than, ew. Number 6. For something somehow a little less cursed, it was revealed last month that Nika-chan, that doll you may know from various urban legends, is doing a collaboration with, of all things, Super Mario. This doll, called Super Mario Daisuke Nika-chan, will sell for a cool 5,280 yen this March, and she comes with Mario's familiar overalls and hat, as well as a Mario stage background and even a handbag fashioned after a question mark block. And to honour her beloved Super Mario, Nika-chan even comes like she's doing Mario's famous jumping pose in the box. Nice. And probably not cursed this time. Probably. Number 7. Over the months we've reported on various things people have stolen for a variety of trifling reasons, such as a single stamp or rice ball. And this month we have yet another odd one. New Year's cards are a rather big tradition in Japan and it's not uncommon to send one to pretty much every single person you know. You might even get some from people you don't even remember. And it's an incredibly busy time of year for the postal service. Well, on January 14th, a 38-year-old man from Hyogo Prefecture was arrested for stealing, well, over 1,000 New Year's cards from people's mailboxes. He admitted to the charges and claimed he did so only because he was lonely, and reading the messages on them helped distract him. People initially sympathised with the man, but then it turned out he may have actually had a different motive. You see, New Year's cards sent through the post come with a serial number, much like a lottery number, that you can use to redeem prizes if you get a match. This is just one of the reasons so many people send the cards, and when the man was arrested, it turned out he had at least a few gifts redeemed from this service. Did he get them from the cards he stole? Making matters even more confusing, he was later seen returning many of the cards he stole back in people's letterboxes, suggesting he did indeed feel bad about what he did or, at the very least, felt guilty about getting busted. Whoops. Number 8. Look, I'm not one to judge people buying body pillows. After all, I own one myself. But this one set for release this month is certainly interesting. Rather than being a regular old body pillow, this one is a hizamakura, meaning it bends at the hip so you can put your head on the character's legs like you're in an anime, looking up at the lady of your dreams or something, I guess. But if that's still not enough, you can also download an ASMR bundle that you can listen to while you rest your head on this cushion lady's legs. And what exactly will you be listening to? The sound of her cleaning your ears, of course. Because why not? The various sounds included actually come from the voice actress herself for ultimate authenticity as well. If you want a cushion to whisper sweet nothings into your ear as it pretends to clean it, you can snap this bad boy up for just 11,000 yen. A bargain. Number 9. Visual presentation is important particularly if you are selling, you know, visuals. On February 24th, someone who bought an idol's photo book shared an interesting and perhaps disappointing photo of one of the shots inside. The guy who designed this idol's photo book doesn't have a lick of sense for book design. You should quit right now. I mean, it's hard to argue with him when you see the result. This led to others sharing their photos of similar mishaps, from ads to manga and everything in between. How the photo made it through the entire design process like this and nobody questioned whether this was, perhaps, a bad idea or not, remains unknown. But as they say, any publicity is good publicity, right? Number 10. 
Haunted houses are still rather popular attractions in Japan, and you can generally find quite a few of them in any big city you visit. But while they are fun and scary, it's always good to remember that the people working in them are, well, human, not ghosts. It was reported last month that an employee working at the scariest haunted house around, in Toei's Eigamura Park, filed a case against Toei Kyoto Studios for breaching their duty of care and safety. Why? Well, this one goes all the way back to 2011. Reportedly, the employee was working in the haunted house on September 10th, 2011, when a tipsy man, who just happened to be a fifth dan in karate, was frightened by an employee doing his job as a ghost in the attraction. The man used his karate skills to kick the performer in the jaw so hard that it broke. The employee filed charges against the man, who ended up paying for his medical treatment, as well as a settlement of 10 million yen. But getting a broken jaw on the job is certainly no laughing matter. And now the man is suing the company as well, for not doing enough to prevent the incident from even happening. He claims there should have been more space between the performers and the public, as well as a partition, as there's no telling how someone might react when they get scared, as evidenced by his broken jaw. This case is still ongoing. And that's just some of the weird, bizarre, terrifying and also kind of funny news that came out of Japan last month. But what about you guys? Hear of anything odd or terrifying? Weird or funny? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.